Good morning, boys and girls. We're so happy to be here on a Sunday morning. Remember, Sunday is my favorite day of the week. It's when I get to come and teach a Bible lesson to you. Miss Betty Bo is here. And I, we miss seeing you. Yes. Yes, we do. But let's pretend if you're sitting on your sofa in your PJs, sing with me. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. We're all in our places with bright, shining faces. And this is the way to start the Lord's Day. Sunday is a happy day, happy day, happy day. Sunday is a happy day. We will sing together. Now it's time for us to sing, us to sing, us to sing. Now it's time for us to sing on this Sunday morning. And you know, Jesus loves all the children. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, the Bible tells me so. And there's another verse to this song. Watch Miss Betty Bo. Jesus loves the Indian boy, bow and arrow for his toy. Big Filipino, little Chinese, living far across the sea. Yes, Jesus loves them. Yes, Jesus loves them. Yes, Jesus loves them. The Bible tells me so. You know, Jesus loves to hear us sing, but he loves to hear you sing too. In Psalms 135.3, it says, Praise the Lord, for the Lord is good. Sing praises unto his name, for it is pleasant. Lord, and Jesus loves to hear you sing. The B-I-B-L-E, yes, that's the book for me. I love to hear the stories in the B-I-B-L-E. Make your Bible. You can look at Miss Betty Bo. I open my Bible book and read. God loves me, God loves me. Read your Bible and pray every day. Pray every day. Pray every day. Read your Bibles and pray every day. And you'll grow, grow, grow. All right, Miss Betty Bo, she has to answer your questions since you're not here. How many books are in the Old Testament? We've got 39. How many books are in the New Testament? There's 27. And if you put them all together... You've got 66. 66. Okay, let's sing the books to the New Testament. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Acts and the letters to the Romans. First and second Corinthians. Galatians and Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians, 1st and 2nd Thessalonians, 1st and 2nd Timothy, Titus and Philemon, Hebrews, James, 1st and 2nd Peter, 1st and 2nd and 3rd John, Jude and Revelations. And at this time I asked you, what is the first book in the New Testament? And it's Matthew. And what is the last book in the New Testament? Revelation. Right. Okay, we're talking about the apostles going into all of the world. Let's get my Bible out here. Because these les this lesson is found in the book of Acts. And we've been studying about Paul. Okay, we're going to review a little bit. Okay, Miss Betty Bo. Tell me, what's happening to Paul right here? 
Oh, he's looking up and he's getting blind. Okay, he was on the road to Damascus to put Christians in jail. And he was called Saul at that time. He didn't like people talking about Jesus because he didn't believe in Jesus. But Jesus had a plan. A bright light came down from heaven and he said, Who are you, Lord? And Jesus said, I am Jesus who you persecute. Now you need to go into the city and you will be told what to do. And he was blind. And for three days he prayed. He didn't eat or drink. Oh my goodness, I saw Jesus. I thought he was dead. And he appeared to me. And then Jesus sent a man named Ananias to see Paul. And as soon as he laid his hands on him, something like scales fell from his eyes and he could see. And he told him, he said, you must believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and be baptized. And he was. He became a Christian. And immediately he would go into the synagogues because that's where the people in those days worshiped in the synagogue. So he would go in there and he'd say, you know, many of you knew that I put Christians in jail, but I've changed. Jesus appeared to me. He is alive. He is the son of God. And according to the Old Testament, what all the apostles, the prophets said is true. And he would teach about Jesus, but they didn't like him teaching about Jesus. And they planned to kill him. And the apostles found out about that. They said, Paul, you've got to get out of the city. So they put him in a basket and lowered him down over the wall. And that didn't stop him. He just went on. He had other companions. And today it's going to be Timothy and Silas. And they're going to go to the city of Philippi. And they're going to continue teaching about Jesus. Okay, that is our review. Now today, our lesson is about a lady named Lydia. And she's a seller of purple cloth. Now back then, purple cloth was very expensive. It cost lots of money. The way they got this purple cloth was from snails. Can you imagine that? They would squeeze the snail and purple liquid would come out and they collected it and they dyed the cloth. So the cloth was very expensive. Now we're going to pretend that Miss Betty Bo is a lady coming into Lydia's shop. Oh, there is some pretty purple cloth. Let's see if it's going to look good on you, Miss Betty Bo. So here she's going to kind of try it on. Oh, the color looks good, and I believe it's the right length. I think you need a gold belt to go around that. That would keep it together, give it some different color. So now she's going to put on a gold belt. You know, Lydia would talk to anybody that come in and giving them suggestions. Okay, what about some purple jewelry? I think that would look nice, too. Okay, I just happen to have some. So she's going to put on some purple jewelry. Oh, looking better all the time, Miss Betty Bo. You know, biblical ladies, they always cover their head. So you need something on your head to cover up. You can't go out of the shop like that. So now she's going to put on something over her head. See, that gold looks good with that gold cloth and wrap it around your head there. And now you have a lady that, that this is how they dressed in Bible times. Oh, and you owe me some money, Miss Betty Bo. You know, this is all very expensive. And you spent a lot of money at my shop today. So she's gonna give me a lot of money. Oh, that's not enough. You owe me some more. Okay, I'm sure you... See, I've noticed she has more money in her bag. Okay, give me some more money. Thank you. Your husband is just going to love you in that. Goodbye. Thanks for shopping with me today. So this is what Lydia did. 
she collected money. She sold cloth. And she was a very godly woman. She and her lady friends would go out by a river and they would worship on the Sabbath day. Oh, Lydia was singing down by the riverside, down by the riverside, down by the riverside. Oh, Lydia was singing down by the riverside, down by the riverside. So she and her lady friends, they were worshiping God. And then here you got Paul and Timothy. Here come Paul and Timothy down by the riverside, down by the riverside, down by the riverside. Here come Paul and Timothy down by the riverside, down by the riverside. And Paul says, do you know about Jesus? Lydia says, no. Who is Jesus? Well, he was the son of God. And this is what you must do to become a Christian. You have to believe in Jesus. And Paul would tell about Jesus, about the many things that he did. He could raise people from the dead. He could, if you were sick, he could make you well. He could even walk on water. <gasps> Nobody could do that. Yes, but he did. And he talked to them about Jesus and and Lydia believed. So she said she and her household were baptized. And then she said, come to my house. I have plenty of room. I have food, something to drink, a place for you to sleep. Come to my house. And Paul and Timothy and Silas went to her house after she became a Christian. And that is our Bible story for today. And I'm going to sing you a little song about Paul. Okay, let's learn more about Paul. Oh, Paul preached the gospel. Yes, Paul preached the gospel. Paul preached the gospel to people everywhere. He preached on the hillside. He preached by the seaside. He preached while in prison to all the kings and queens. He told about Jesus. He told about Jesus. He told about Jesus how much the Lord had done. And now, let us pray. God is listening, God is listening when I pray, when I pray. Bow your head so quietly, close your eyes so tightly. Now let's pray, now let's pray. Dear God, we thank you for Paul. Dear God, we thank you for Paul. And all the apostles. And all of the apostles. Who taught about Jesus. Who taught about Jesus. Help us to learn about Jesus. Help us to learn about Jesus. From your word, the Bible. Love your word, the Bible. Help us to obey. Help us to obey. Keep us safe. And keep us safe. In Jesus' name, amen. In Jesus' name, amen. And that is your Bible lesson for today. Paul teaches Lydia about Jesus. Goodbye.